Today we're going to demonstrate the removal of the front strut on the forefront. First thing you want to do is remove the five lug nuts that hold the drive wheel onto the motor. Now we remove our drive wheel. Phillips head screwdriver. We need to remove the fender. Once that fender is removed, then we can see. So now, first thing is you'll see this black piece here that actually is a guide to hold the first pin in place. We're gonna take a three millimeter Allen head and remove. And we're just gonna, usually what I like to do is so we don't lose it, I usually just let it go down into the lower position and just hold in place. Then up top here, still three, three millimeter Allen, we're going to remove this front piece of the strut assembly. So the first thing we're gonna do is we take one of the three millimeter Allen screws that we just removed, and we can screw it right into here. Take our, pull the pin out. The motor will actually fall down a little bit. That's okay at that point. And then from there, we remove the Allen head again and we repeat on the top. We can pull the strut right out. Now to replace our strut, you want to make sure that the threads are pointing towards the back of the power chair. So we put in our strut, we put in our strut, we take our pin, we're gonna Put that right in a place. Then we take our second. This part we have to lift up the strut body to allow, we have to lift up the motor mount to allow the strut to go back into the strut body. And push it right back into place. Then we take our three millimeter Allen. I pull that screw out. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna replace this cap. When you replace the front piece, this part with the extrusion will go in the front and just attach and just put go right on. Once we are done with replacing this cap, we take our fender, we put our fender back into place. Finally, we will replace our drive wheel.